All right. When you first get your Epson interactive projector, you might find yourself in a situation like this where you have multiple menus that look very similar overlaid on each other. You'll notice that one of these is dark blue and one is gray. What's happened in this situation is you've opened Epson Easy Interactive Com Tools in PC interactive mode. So you've gone in, you've opened the software, and as you can see here, we've accidentally switched from PC interactive mode to PC free annotation mode. So we're actually running that layer on top of everything that we had previously done on top of the same functionality in Windows. So what all, the easiest way to fix this is to decide if you meant to be working on your computer, just flip back to PC interactive mode. The other menus will disappear, the extra triangle on the other side will disappear, and you can go ahead and use that. If you meant to be in PC free annotation mode, however, the best thing to do is flip back into PC interactive mode, close Epson Easy Interactive Tools, and then flip back into PC free annotation. What you don't want is to have double menus, or double things when only one of them works. Because remember, when you're in this PC free annotation mode, you cannot interact with that computer in behind. You're writing physically on, imagine a transparent layer on top of everything. So if you do find yourself in that situation, just make sure you're in the right mode and only open the tools you want to be using.